So this question is asking us how many ordered triples make this circuit true? And what that basically means is that we need to find any combination or multiple combinations of A, B, and C that when we put them into the circuit, it results in true. So what we first need to do is go over what each of these mean. So if we have a pointy looking arrow shape, like here and here, then that's going to signify an OR gate. If we have this half moon shape or a more curved arrow, then that's going to signify an AND gate. And then we have a little dot, which is not. And you can also have a triangle in front of that. So as you can see here, we have an OR gate with a little dot, which means not. So what we have to do is trace through the wires and see which variables they run through. So uh, A is connected and B is also connected to this. So we're going to write a or B, because remember this is an OR gate, and then we have this little dot saying that we should put a knot over it. And then here we have B and C, and it's an OR gate, so we're going to write B or C. And then here, as you can see, these are connected to the same AND gate. So we're going to take this whole thing and this whole thing and multiply them together. So we have A or B not times B or C. And you can simplify the left-hand side a little bit by distributing the not. So we have not A, and then the plus sign turns into a multiplication sign times not B. And then we have our B or C, which stays the same. So you can also write this like that. And so we're going to multiply this whole quantity by B and also multiply it by C, distributive property. So I can already see that the B and the not B are going to cancel out. So we're not even going to write anything for that. That just equals zero. And then we have not A times not B times C. And none of those cancel each other out because we don't know what A, B, and C are. So what we need to do next is after simplifying it, we can create a truth table and see which ones result in true. So as you can see, there are eight possible combinations of A, B, and C when they are either one or zero. And so we're going to plug each one of these into our simplified equation here and then see if, they, if any of them result in true. So if we put in zero as A, then not A is going to be one. We're multiplying that by not B, which will also be one, times C, which is zero, and anything times zero will give us zero. So that gives us false, because zero leads to false, and then one is true. Okay, well, what if we try uh, C as one? So A and B are going to stay the same, but we're going to multiply by one now instead of zero, because we've changed C, and obviously one times one times one will give us true. So I can already tell now that that is going to be the only ordered pair that will make this circuit true because if any of these turn out to be zero, then that's going to make, up, make the circuit uh, false because zero times anything will give us zero. And so this sh should be the only possible combination that makes this circuit true. But just in case, uh, to make sure, let's just go through each one of them each, uh, each of the rest of them. So not A is going to be one, not B is going to be zero, and we're multiplying by C, which is zero, which is going to be false. Okay, so now let's try A as one. So not A is zero, not B is one, C is zero, that still gives us false, and then not A is zero. At this point, if we see a zero, we could just move on to the next one. So not A is zero, so that's false. Not A is one, not B is zero. Okay, I see a zero, so that's going to end up false. Not A is zero, and that's false. And so this is the only ordered triple that makes our circuit true.